So it's still February 19, 2018. If you really want to grasp the real insanity of what is taking place in this country, then do some research going into local newspapers and you will see there is so much that you don't know that is happening in in local communities around the country. So South Carolina and what I'm going to be showing you is what has occurred all of the school lockdowns and everything uh, regarding schools this all happened after the Florida shooting. So legislators in South Carolina introduced a bill that would make active shooter drills mandatory for all public schools in South Carolina, as if that is going to bring safety to South Carolinian school children. And I'm sure parents are very happy about this. But nobody will be able to connect. Okay, Florida, that school shooting, they had an active shooter drill. That it was happening when the shooting went live. An active shooter drill in Florida, in that school, and they couldn't even protect all those 17 students. So how could active shooter drills provide safety for South Carolina, their public schools? It won't. It's unfortunate that we do have adult Americans who refuse to look at what is taking place. The twisted, sick society that has manifested right here in their face, but they will not look at, hmm, problem, reaction, solution, problem coming from government officials. They get the reaction, and then those same government officials provide the solution. When they have an agenda that they want accomplished, they create a problem, they get a reaction, and then they provide the solution. And it's all a part of this deliberate agenda to, well, there's so many different facets, so many ends that are achieved. A police state, a fearful society, individuals so scared, no security anymore. Parents, you send your children off to school, you ain't got no security doesn't matter, active shooter drills. It's not going to make your children safe. Not when. Mainstream media, here we have reporting. Well, there was a drill going on, an active shooter drill. But 17 students died. They couldn't even stop the shooter when they were having a drill. They, they... Americans just don't want to look at the false flags and the hoaxes. Yeah, the, the real staged hoaxes. Sandy Hook is the cream of the crop. A drill taking place. Mainstream media reports it as live. And all the evidence up the wazoo doesn't even phase most Americans. They refuse to look at it. So what we get from that, the result of that, we only get more and more sick and twisted. We get deeper into it, darker into it, more crazy as a result. There have been school shootings that you don't know about. Every time we have a school shooting and I do some research, I'm amazed at how many school shootings have occurred all over the country. But mainstream media, they focus on particular school shootings. Why? Well, when they want an agenda to be rammed through, that's usually when they focus on a school shooting 24-7, 24-7, 24-7. But did you hear anything about this 14-year-old who, at home, killed his 47-year-old father, and then drove to 
Townville Elementary School in Anderson. I've driven past this elementary school often. He drives his father's pickup truck and rams it into a playground fence while first graders were at recess and then fired several shots, killing one student, six years, six years old, and wounding another student and a teacher. And the teen screamed, I hate my life, as he fired the gun. He's charged with two counts of murder, but listen to this. Okay, Anderson County Deputy Sheriff Justin Brown said he decided to go inside the elementary school to look for a possible second shooter. Good decision, Justin. Good decision. What, did you stand outside in the playground and decide, hmm, should I go inside the elementary school? Because this shooting only took place in the playground on school property. Maybe, uh, well, I'll go in. I'll just take it. Oh, my God, there's chaos inside the school. Everything, there, there's so much. Just printed for us. That is utterly insane. But the teenager cried and apologized when he was arrested. Americans never look at the root cause. They just want that immediate gratification of a solution. Just give me anything. Okay, take away the guns. Good, I'll go with it. Yeah, get those guns as if the guns walk into these schools and pull their own triggers. The gun has nothing to do with it. But when you do have a population of, yeah, sick and twisted individuals, they the well-adjusted to a very sick and twisted, deeply disturbed society. They don't even know how to think. These kids growing up today, it, it's oh, what they face, the adults, the adults who are utterly sick themselves, they emulate them. Um, today, so many kids are growing up in dysfunctional homes, abusive homes, with parents who give them conditional love. As long as you act and do as I say, all right, you can be loved, which kills their spirit, their individuality. They go into these schools, and these schools are about killing that individuality. Everybody is common. There's a reason why it was called Common Core. Drive out that individuality. Make all kids just exactly the same. Kill their critical thinking. Sorry for the noise outside. Kill their critical thinking and make them just be these zombie robots for the sick and twisted adults that will be able to manage and control them as adults. Get them to obey authority. Put them on psychiatric medication that induces homicidal ideation. That screws with their brain. Let them eat poisoned food with poison from the pesticides and herbicides and the genetically modified organisms that they're eating. Let them eat the crap, the poisoned crap. Let them breathe the toxic air. Let them drink the poisoned water. And you have an awful lot of children who are so screwed up. And some become violent. The school's on lockdown. South Carolina, Dillon High School, after a social media threat. Someone posted on Facebook that they would shoot up Dillon High School on lockdown. That was just uh, today. Anderson District 5 schools, two, McDuffie and South Fant Early Childhood, put on lockdown because the police were chasing somebody in the neighborhood put on lockdown. And it's not just Dillon. It is schools in Richland, Lexington, Kershaw, Spartanburg, Fair Fairfield, counties. Possible threats to school. Put them on lockdown. How about, oh, Robeson County schools. 
extra security following rumors of violence today. Lawrence County Schools put on lockdown after bomb threat four days ago. Lockdown at several schools due to unverified social media threat, but the lockdown was lifted February 13. You really do have to dig into the local news to find out how crazy your own community is. South Carolina woman seen outside church gouging out her eyes with her own hands. Yes, South Carolina woman terrified churchgoers this week after investigators said she was seen across the street from a church gouging her eyes out with her own hands. So, someone called 911 when they saw that she was holding an eyeball in her hand. And there is more to the story. Uh, Kayleen Mothart, Mothart, I don't know, her mother said that she's permanently blind because of a self-inflicted injury. Kathy Thompson's, Tompkins is her mother. She was under the influence of drugs, marijuana and meth. Have you ever heard of somebody gouging out their eyes? Having smoked a joint? Or even doing meth? So, what's up here? What is up? Uh, her mother says that she fell victim to the dangerous reality of meth. I just found out about her marijuana use about six weeks before the incident. Tompkins, who claims to be against drug use, said on the day of the incident, she thinks that someone puts something else in with the meth. Her doctors think so too. But it's hard to tell exactly what it was from the blood test. Her doctor said that typically meth doesn't lead people to do something so traumatic. Yeah, so what else is going on? Well, again, Americans do not want to face the fact that we have now all over littered with cell phone towers, Gwen towers, and they can use these as weapons and they can actually induce this kind of behavior right smack into someone and make them do something so outrageous. So let me tell you now <clears throat> that I have no need to gouge out my eyes or do anything so outrageous. And if I do, please know that no, I'm not mentally ill. Something must have caused that kind of behavior. <sighs> Listen to this, Tompkins. She doesn't know how long her daughter is going to be hospitalized, but this incident has taken a toll on their family. Tompkins' son was already in the hospital suffering injuries from a car crash and her husband was taken to the hospital he being evaluated for high blood pressure and possible heart problems. Frequencies can cause car crashes. Frequencies can cause heart problems, high blood pressure. Yeah, crazy has really intensified in our country. Uh, South Carolina has passed the Marriage and Constitution Restoration Act. Wow, the Marriage and Constitution Restoration Act? Does that mean that here in South Carolina they're going to begin enforcing the Constitution? No, it simply means that they have decided to define marriage as between a man and a woman and everything else in the bill itself they have defined parody marriage. Now, you want to piss off everybody that wants to get married, but they want to get married to a same-sex person? You want to piss them off? Call 
their marriage a parody. Parody marriage means any form of marriage that does not involve one man or one woman. Marriage means a union of one man and one woman. So it's not sitting very well with the LGBT community. Um, now, don't you think those legislators would know that it wouldn't sit well? Yes, get everybody to attack each other. And why is government involved with marriage? Well, that's a question that everybody should be asking. Here we have the Peachoid, South Carolina. Peachoid. This famous South Carolina landmark, the Peachoid, and I've driven past this, and I have to tell you, it looks obscene. It looks like one big butt with a crack in the middle. The Peachoid now has a security fence around it because Kevin Spacey made that Peachoid very famous. He, the House representative from Gaffney, South Carolina, he playing that character, House of Cards, he posting this video, uh, video this picture on Twitter. There he is. Here, the Peachoid. And I'm getting my dog drunk. So, a lot of people now, well, you got a star who poses for this picture, then what does that do to the brain of the ordinary American? <gasps> I've got to go to the Peachoid, and I'm going to write my name in the Peachoid. So, due to the vandalism, they have put up this fence, six foot tall, with barbed wire on the top. It's going to be permanent, but the public will have access to the Peachoid at specific times during the day. But it is a permanent fence. We've got to, we have to protect the Peachoid. And still there are people who don't believe that ordinary Americans have anything to do with this nightmare. Nothing. No, we're completely sane. They built the fence around the Peachoid. What has happened to our society? Well, it's just grown very sick and twisted. All right, so the school lockdowns. Uh, sus suspicious men who prompted Portage School lockdowns, Chicago. Lockdown lifted at another high school in Memphis. Raccoon Hunt puts Green County School on lockdown. Um, Lawrence County schools on lockdown. Hoarded school lockdown lifted after police found two males carrying airsoft airsoft guns, I guess. Um, yeah, airsoft guns to go target shooting in the woods. Lockdowns lifted at Orange County Schools. Lockdown lifted at Onslow County Schools, Wilmington. This is North Carolina. A Snapchat post from Florida School shooting prompts soft lockdown in Avian Public Schools. Redwater Independent School District to place all on lockdown. Liberty County High School placed on lockdown. And these are just within the last couple of days. Cheatham County School District places all schools on lockdown. Nashville. Crown over middle school placed on lockdown.
Schools, courthouse in South Florida placed on lockdown. Parsippany School on lockdown after bullet found in hallway. Lockdown lifted for forest area schools, Bedford County. Worth County High School, lockdown. Albany. Um, some Logan County schools placed on temporary lockdown. And that was seven days ago. This is now the new normal. It is the new normal. And it's really frightening to see this happening. But if you don't grasp all of the crazy that's going on, and you can't even, you cannot get to all of the crazy that's going on in every community in this country. But when you start taking a look, you realize that so much is just so now out of control. I'll link below to everything.